his head, and there he goes. Abyss gonna clean him up. Olaf goes down. Everyone's just gonna line up here for Lazzy. He's gonna find himself the Quadra. I give it to him. Penta kill. Priestly with the quad feet. Gets the ace. Available just spin to win all over. That game was insane. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another great night of Saints Overwatch. My name is Amanda Commander Dupuy, and I'm here with Jackson De Deprive Brown. Yeah, hello, everybody. We are in for a great matchup here tonight for the St. Clair Saints. It is going to be Overwatch, the title we are playing here tonight in the NECC. This is going to be against Grandview University, and uh, or short for GVU. And uh, yeah, we're anticipating a very close matchup here. This is NECC preseason, so there is not a whole lot of weight to the match, besides just some good practice for these guys to come play against some other schools and whatnot, and to just put their skills to the test, right? So very interesting to see how this one's going to play out here tonight. But from what I'm hearing is both teams are very similarly matched, and uh, we're expecting this one to go the distance. For sure. Definitely going to be some exciting NECC matches today, uh, especially... Uh, we got a double header tonight, so we have two games of Overwatch coming straight to you tonight. Yeah, next game going to be against Boise State, so stay tuned here. Lots of action coming your way. Uh, you know, it's going to be between four to six overall games here, two best of three series. So very excited to be alongside Amanda here tonight on starting Overwatch. You know, this is my first Overwatch cast, so bear with me. Amanda's going to be carrying the weight here on this stream here tonight. But I'm very excited to, you know, at least crack into things here and get this match started. Uh, Boise State also going to be a great game here later on tonight. And I'm also very excited for that one. It's going to be pretty much right after this. And so, yeah, starting us off here, if you want to break down a little bit about what we're going to see here in game one. So first map is Nepal and uh, Village for that matter. So we're going to look for that point control, especially since this map is uh, the middle of the map. The point has two entrances and you can get pinched very, very easily. So we need to see how teams will kind of uh, take this into consideration and what kind of heroes they'll play to avoid that. Uh, as well as there's almost only one way to get to the point. So we'll see what they choose to do here. And looks like we're getting started. Yeah, we are going to be getting started. The attack stage has begun here now. And unfortunately, we will only be able to go on player POVs for game one. But game two will come back with a little bit more of a, uh, you know, different camera setup here, etc. And being able to pull off those aerial perspectives. So here we go. The point is looking to be getting fought for right now. Both teams currently fighting for it. Very contested at this moment. Every player from the side of the Saints trying to hold off. And, you know, it's just very basically a massive battle towards this hard point right now for sure right now st Clair does have the advantage they're sitting on point they got there first uh, which is a massive advantage at this point um, but they're trying to do some damage they need to get that one kill to be able to collapse on the rest of the team uh arjun just kind of wall riding here trying not to take too much damage while do doing some poke they're trying to get that diva but it doesn't look like it's quite working out yet yeah, so Cheesy really just freezing up all these angles, but you know, blocking off points where the side of Grandview can come through and try to play for the site. But as of now, St. Clair, they're doing very good job at holding this site. It's currently 25%, but it will be contested here now from the side of Grandview. But it doesn't look like St. Clair is too concerned. You still see Bailable going absolutely ham. And you were saying here a little bit before you started the stream, he's been on his grind lately. So I'm excited to see him come out here and really put up a good show tonight. For sure. Very interesting pick with the Symmetra as well uh, on this map, but being able to TP does make it easy. Huge, huge uh, wall by Symmetra. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> uh, but it looks like they're going to be able to keep uh, GVU off the point. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, so there is 55% there ticked down for the side of St. Clair Saints. They are looking good. 0% for the side of Grandview. St. Clair really just keeping the pressure on. And you see Cheesy currently just freezing up all of his, um, uh, sorry, all of his opponents. And he's trying to just, you know, slow down the push. That's the big thing with Cheesy. Um, you know, his main role here, slow down the push. Great wall there. Gonna, you know, keep this point in favor of them. You know, whenever those walls come up on a point, it is so devastating for the side of Grandview because it completely shuts off an angle and just slows them down in general here with overwatch being such a fast-paced game getting slowed down is the last thing you want for sure but sadly they did take out the reinhardt and the baptista side of saint Clair. however saint Clair did make a bit of a comeback here 
Uh, well, Ryan just returned, and it looks like Baptiste did as well. So they're regrouping, they're stabilizing a bit, and they still have that point control for another 5%. GVU needs the touch right now. Yeah, this is looking amazing for the Saints. They are going to get that first point. So if I do stay correct, like I said, this is my first overall trust. So I think this is a best of three, correct? Yeah. So yeah, so basically first one to get to two points here. St. Clair already starting it off with one. Grandview now forced in a position where they have to answer back with two in a row. Going to be a tall, tall task, if I do say so myself. St. Clair Saints have all the favor right here, right now. For sure. And now we are at the temple. And this part is very difficult because of that big drop right next to the point. You got the Lucio for boops. Uh, Roadhog typically comes out on this map. Uh, Wrecking Ball, anybody to just throw them down the hole there. So we'll have to see how they will counter this. They have a reset for pulls as well. So uh, we'll have to see what teams pick, but it looks like it's gonna be very boop heavy. Yeah, so here we go. It is gonna be round two getting started here now. The attack is coming through from both sides. You know, like you were saying, there is that big hole kind of all around that point. You gotta be very, very careful here. And one big thing I do wanna point out is Cheesy, that ice wall that he was using there on that first point, not gonna be as useful here now on the second point. He can't block off a whole side of the point. So it's gonna make things a little bit more tough on St. Clair. But overall, they were very dominant there last time around. Let's hope we can see that here again, For if you are from the side of St. Clair, uh, to come through and try to get some early percentages ticked on here. But as of now, I think Grandview currently in a little bit more control over this site rather than the Saints. If you look at the feed, it is all yellow right now, lighting up for Grandview. And that is going to be the team wipe. That will get them the point. St. Clair all going to wait. You do see Bailable here. I think I think his main perspective there is wait for the team, gather up, push as a group. That's what you want to do. That's your best chance to uh, get a retake there. Exactly. As soon as one player goes down, it's almost always best to regroup and take it as six. You do not want to put yourself at the disadvantage at a 5v6 unless it's a 5v5 and you were able to pick off one of their players. But it looks like Cheesy's trying to find an early pick here on the Mercy. Ooh. That could be huge if he can pull it off, but he doesn't quite get it. So it looks like St. Clair is going to go for a quick rotate in behind GVU. Nine trying to pick off that Mercy as well, and they managed to get a hold of that tracer and she's out of the picture so St. Clair is gonna try to collapse here. Yeah and the collapse is looking pretty good they got three to one on site right now and make that G2 scales cleaning up Opia. I mean Eli finds two though Apostle gonna find one in the process but the point is now in St. Clair's favor so they are getting more percent on this point than Grandview got even in that whole last first round so a decent start there from the Saints now the big thing here is to just hold it keep finding these frags uh, at the end of the day, I mean, that is really what you want to do. And uh, one thing I haven't seen from uh, St. Clair here, they're really focusing on law on these healers from the side of Grandview. They do not want to, you know, get a player down to one tap and then have a healer just sitting there behind them, keeping them alive. It's going to make things so lethal on them. But it looks like the side of St. Clair will get shut down this point, going back in favor to Grandview. For sure. Uh, dealing with the farmer's see like um, Grandview has right now, is very difficult because the Farai can output a ton of damage and she can easily be sniped down but if she has the mercy pocket flying around with her she becomes very hard to deal with so even if she's just one health that mercy can fly over and heal her up and all that hard work you've done is now gone yeah 100 percent and uh you know grandview now taking this percentage up here to uh north Ooh. of the 70 percent marker dark guy actually gonna take down nine that is one of the healer players for the side of st Clair saints i believe and uh that's gonna be a big kill to take down if you are from the side of grandview here because st Clair now with very little heals to move forward here with on the site and they're very pushed back into their spawn right now um if you see grandview they have really pushed St. Clair so far back into their spawn now that it's going to take them even just so much time to get to that point. Grandview, their point is looking really, really good right here. But G2 scales with the alt cheesy and nine going in. This is all in favor of St. Clair Saints. Maybe a last minute retake. Everything looking good for the Saints here now, putting so much pressure on Grandview. But they are at the 98, 99 overtime, but we're on the point and it's in Saints favor. They are keeping their hopes alive. That was very, very close. I wasn't sure if they were going to be able to touch, but that uh, Sigma Flux was exactly what we needed to kind of get them back on the point, uh, back in control, and to take that team fight. Yeah, so Cheesy now throwing out some util there. Eli will take down available story there, and that is now going to put it to a 5 versus 6. Now make it a 4v6 as Eli finds another. Eli been fragging out this game so far and will continue to do so. 
But this point, still in favor of the Saints, but a lot of pressure right now coming from Grandview. St. Clair, they do have a few alts that they can use, so keep that in mind. The site is contested currently. Grandview making their way on point. Eli finding yet another, but AR Junk able to get the trade. Cheesy finds two, or actually only one. And uh, Opia could answer back with two, though. So this is going to make things really tough on the Saints. There is one player on that point. Going to force Bailable to hop on there. But there's so many players. Oh. Field. He gets, I think it's Hograd. I think it's, that's what it's called. Yeah, he gets chained in there. And that is going to be the point going in favor of Grandview. The overtime is ticking down. I don't think anyone from the Saints will be able to make it. Ah, never mind. Cheesy oh. makes his way onto the point. We'll keep the overtime hopes alive. The Saints coming in, funneling one by one. But it's going to be so hard to get them all there at one time to try to retake. They need to be really careful here. As you can see, Wrecking Ball just died on the point, which is kind of their, their oh, last no. hope. Tracer uh. can't really do much, so it's looking it's looking like uh, Sigma might not be able to do it. And just as I say that, the point goes to Grandview. Yeah, so we're at 1-1. Match point here now for both sides. Uh, winner of this round wins game one. And winning game one in a best of three series has so much impact on the rest of the series, right? At that point, you know, you're, you're pretty much having a reverse sweep after you drop one matchup here. So uh, this is a very big round to win. You know, the guys over in the St. Clair Saints nest right now are getting fired up. They are wanting to come away with this win here. Even though it's a preseason game, this just helps with confidence, momentum, uh, chemistry, skill, practice, everything, the whole nine yards here moving forward. So that, you know, preseason, whether there's not a whole lot of weight to the game, there is still a whole lot of weight to the game for the team's, you know, chemistry, skill, all that stuff I just listed moving forward. Exactly. And it also boosts the players' morale and their confidence and their abilities. So as long as they can win the first few preseason Ooh. matches, that, that can make the difference between winning and losing a main season. But... We're starting out on the point here real quick. Looks like there's a little bit of poke from the sky, but I can't quite see what the heroes are yet. Although that hog hook hooks in G scales and there's all out brawl. Our junk does manage to knock out that immortality field, which is huge. And they're able to take down Sigma and half the team in the process. Yeah, I believe, okay, like I said, kind of do Overwatch, but I believe G2 Skills is playing D.Va, if I'm not correct, right now. Yep. And so, him being on one of those tank positions, D.Va having a lot of HP, and boosting in there, getting early control of that point, and really putting it in favor for St. Clair, I believe G2 Skills did so much to open up that site for St. Clair there, and, and playing that main tank position, blocking off all those shots for the side of your team. And uh, now it's going to result in St. Clair getting an early 20%. And they are still holding Grandview off very well right now. It is looking very, very good for St. Clair. And it kind of looks a little bit like Grandview is kind of like the, the, the chemistry and stuff they had going in that last round isn't as much here right now. It kind of looks like I see them going in one-on-one -on -one rather than coming in on a full force. And St. Clair is really reaping the benefits of that. But it is going to be the side of Grandview now actually coming through with a couple frags and a couple heals. But G2 skills and Postal say not today. They get some kills of their own. Nine was doing a great job of pocketing Apostle there, keeping up his main tank, oh. which is very important. Oh, oh huge oh, kill huge. on the Mercy by G Scales. Yeah, so that's 50% now here for the Saints and halfway already in a you know a match point case scenario. That is massive. And you see Bailable here again taking down these healers from the back line. St. Clair has been doing that so much here throughout this round and is causing so much of a concern for the side of Grandview, making it a lot tougher on them. So now at the 65% marker, if you're from the side of Grandview, you're getting pretty concerned at this point in time, especially when St. Clair is racking up their ults like no tomorrow. Big beat by Arjun. And going in Ooh. with the uh, aggression here. Yeah, Scales gonna find a double with that D.Va. Uh, Arjun gonna find a one as well. Scales with another. Scales has been absolutely lighting it up with the D.Va here on this point. And I think him p picking in that D.Va position right there was an absolutely phenomenal pick. It's, it's single-handed. I, I don't want to say, you know, Scales is single-handedly holding this point for them. But he is doing a lot of work right now to keep this in St. Clair's favor. At the 95% marker already. And Grandview not even close. I think it's, it's not safe to say this one's going the way of the Saints. But we're getting pretty close to it. Failed, popping that high noon to try to defend the point, but can't hit anything with it. Uh, tries to take out that Tracer, but they do manage to take out Guardian. And it's back and forth, but it appears Grandview is in the lead right now. St. Clair just holding on as, as hard as they can. Both tanks trying to get out, oh, no. save their lives, but it's just not enough. Yeah, this is going in the way of the side of Grandview here now. 99% in St. Clair's favor. So they literally just need to keep them off this point during an overtime. 
But Grandview now in position where, okay, we have control of site now. We are just playing off of the, you know, hold here. It's going to be St. Clair now forced to retake. But St. Clair, uh, you're in a tougher spot here now. You're not just holding it. You don't have all six players just sitting there ready to go. It is actually going to be Grandview now, you know, having that six stack there, holding things down. And St. Clair going to have the much harder task here now. But if they can just come in here, all it takes is one retake. And I think they should be fairly good then. For sure. If they can pick off that Mercy. Oh, and just as I say that, nine goes down. And that's a very important pick because he's the main healer on the team. So St. Clair is huge. forced to regroup here. They can't take this. Yeah, Eli and Opia just doing what they do best. I've seen them on the feet so much here in this last uh, minute, two or so of this game. And yeah, it's causing for a lot of concern for the side of St. Clair right now. You do see Nine trying to do whatever he can here. I think he's... He's shooting down the opponents. I don't know. Can't tell if he's healing or shooting down opponents right yeah. now. But uh, yeah, that is going to be him doing some damage to the side of Grandview, waiting for his team to come through. Now that his team is coming through, he will follow his team behind to play off of those heals. So here we go. Over 60%. Now for Grandview, though, they are getting a lot closer to St. Clair's scoreline. This is a big push from the Saints. This is probably their second last push. Fossil getting ready to shatter here. And he hits it. That is huge. Ultimate's coming out left, right, and center. It's going back and forth. Grandview gets two picks on St. Clair, but St. Clair does get revenge by taking oh. out the Mercy. However, Grandview takes two more. Although the Diva Bomb goes off, I don't think it's enough to save this match so far. With 85 seconds, or 85% left uh, on the clock here, we don't have much time for them to make a regroup and take this. They have to get together really quick. 10% left, less than that now. Can they do it? Yeah, for sure. And Opia has been a big concern for the side of St. Clair right now. Uh, it's been single-handedly oh, winning this one out for Grandview. No! But Eli on the alt will find four scales and cheesy answer back. But overtime is called. What a comeback from Grandview. They're going to take game one in this best of three. Commanda, I am shocked on how that last game three, uh, round three, sorry, worked out to end up. That was a dirty far alt. Oh my gosh. That came out of no, I didn't even see that. I'm going to be honest. Wow, that was that was a really good ult. Took out four players at once. Haven't wow. seen that in a very long time, and I play a lot of Overwatch. Yeah, so uh, the side of Grandview, they really just clutched up there at the very end. Once they got that retake, they just took that confidence and momentum and really just ran away with it at that point. So as we were saying, this is going to be 1-0 in favor of GVU here moving forward. But we're going to be heading into a game too. So clean slate for the Saints here. You just got to wipe your, uh, wipe your like not your memory, you know, but wipe wipe your uh, clean slate. Yeah, yeah sorry, yeah, clean yeah. slate in your brain. And then you will actually be able to, you know, at least refocus, get things going, you know, new strats and new character picks, whatever, everything, new ballpark, new ball game. Um, being a best of three, they're now forced to win the next two out. But I don't think there should have too, too many problems. Like, I mean, it was a very close game there. Don't get me wrong. And this is the practice that we like to see from the Saints here in preseason. For sure. There is a lot of things that I just realized. I wrote hashtag grip tip on the whiteboard. Interesting. Um, all right. There was a lot of uh, interesting plays that happened today. Like that far ult at the end took me completely by surprise. And they kept taking... Um, a GVU always made sure to take nine out as soon as possible. As yeah. soon as nine, Baptiste is a very, very strong character. If your Baptiste is down when you're just about to aggress into a team fight, you cannot take that fight. He is heals. He is DPS. He can put out as much DPS as a DPS hero, as well as as much heals as something like an Ana. Uh, if you take that Baptiste out, you have the advantage. You cannot. They cannot take that fight. You can collapse on them and almost always win. So they were very smart in taking nine out every time. Uh, however, St. Clair was very smart on trying to take out that Mercy. Like, you could see um, G-Scales as D.Va pushing up to the Far Mercy, you know, eating any damage the Farah is doing and trying to do some damage to the Mercy to pick away at her. Because if she's up there with the Farah, they have free range. Yeah, so basically to sum it up and, uh, you know, make it a little bit more uh, simple or terms, they're just trying to take out each other's healers. Yep. Uh, basically, at the end of the day, right away, that's what they're going for. They're trying to take out players that can heal the rest of the team to really just make your fight a lot easier to, you know, not have to inflict nearly as much damage. So that's a big thing, though. So St. Clair was also going for their healer. Well, Grandview was coming for St. Clair's healer. Thing is, is it worked out near the end of the game that Grandview was able to take a, a little bit more of a better, you know, uh, fragging potential onto St. Clair's healer. So it made it a lot harder for St. Clair to really get a good organized push going. 
and uh, in result it would be the side of gvu taking that in you know round number three and winning that one out but now game number two heading our way um i don't know exactly what match mode i forget what we what it is but what do you think are some of the things that uh we got to focus on here going into the game number two well this next map is going to be hybrid um well a hybrid map which means that they will have to cap the point first hollywood is our hybrid map sorry about that uh they will have to cap the point first so it'll be like the point capture like we just saw but a lot quicker there'll be three ticks they have to stand on there for like 10 seconds and once they capture that they have uh they have access to the payload and they have to push the payload as far as possible um to be able to get to the end and whatever team pushes it further wins but if one of the teams doesn't cap the point then the other team automatically wins yeah, so it will be interesting to see. You can see all the players here just waiting to get ready to go. And while they're waiting to get ready to go, let's give a quick little shout to our giveaway uh, that we are running over on the Saints Gaming Twitter. It will be uh, for one piece of our merchandise. Any piece you want, anything from our store. And all you have to do is go to our Twitter, go to the pin tweet, follow our t account, like it, retweet it. This ends tomorrow, so go do it right now. Do not lack on it. You want to get some uh, Saints gear? You want to rep the Saints? Head over. And uh, enter the uh, giveaway. If you don't get anything, you know, don't be too concerned. We always have it for sale over at acquire.ca backslash saints. So go get some merch if you're interested in supporting. And uh, yeah, maybe some free merch. You never know. You, like, I, I entered. I know you entered probably. Yeah, sure. I'm trying to get that crew next. So. <laughs> oh, I know, right? Here we go. Uh, it will be us loading into the game here now, just a few seconds away. Players joining up, whatnot, everything like that. And here we are. It is going to be the preparation stages for the next 45 seconds or so. And these players are going to be getting ready to jump into things. I'm excited to see how this game two works out. Obviously, it's a win or go home pretty much uh, type of scenario now here for the Saints because of it being a best of three. But no concern. The regular season, when it is coming through too light, it will be best of fives around during then. So as of now, just the preseason, just some little best of threes, warm ups against other school. You know, you can see a little bit about their competition and, uh, you know, you can practice yourself. So it's, it's nice to have the preseason here. For sure. And as you can see, they're setting up here. They chose to go with the Torbjorn, which is very interesting. I haven't seen a lot of Torbjorn lately, but uh, he is very strong on this point. So hopefully they can pull it off here. Uh, it looks like Cheesy is going to look for that, that cheeky poke damage here. Ooh, and he finds it. Yeah, for sure. Lots and lots of damage. <laughs> Waving to the camera. He knows he did good. <laughs> Nine is trying to do a little bit of poke damage as well. Available. Peeking out past his turret. See what he can find. Does look like they're going to run that Farmercy again. Uh, towards St. Clair. So they're going to have to figure out how to deal with that. Because last round they were struggling with it a bit. Uh, Dark Ride takes out Bailable's turret. So he's going to have to set that up again uh, to be able to have the same uh, impact on this point. Oh, and Bailable gets taken out, and so does Cheesy. They have no wow. DPS players on the side of St. Clair right now. Yeah, this defense is going to be real hard here now, now that they do not have those players intact. So Apostle, he will be able to answer back and find one, but immediately gets shot down. Or sorry, Eli going to find our AR junk, but then Apostle will go down to Dark Guy. Uh, G2 Scales will find one, and Opia. Oh, my, this is just oh. all in favor of Grandview here now. I think Grandview is going to have this point. St. Clair going to give up on this one. This is just definitely a cap from Grandview here now. Now they're going to be playing off the payload, if I do not stay corrected. So now the payload will be starting to get advanced. All up to St. Clair to stop this payload from getting pushed as far as possible. And uh, Grandview already getting one point on the board. Great start to this game. With lots of time to work with, to be honest. For sure. And Grandview's Pharmacy is just bullying the, the tanks up high here. They keep poking out and just dealing a ton of damage. So uh, the DPS players do have to be really careful because they are fairly squishy. That means they have very low health. They are 200 and under health. So as you can see, this Pharmacy is really giving them a hard time. Uh, but they're trying to just stay even. Trying to bully that D.Va back too. Get a little bit of, oh, lots of damage wow. here. Wow, cheesy, going crazy there. And uh, just doing so much damage. Nine actually going to find a kill onto Opia there. And so that is a good start. It will stop the payload from actually advancing here right now as uh, Apostle and the rest of the guys over at St. Clair Saints are really doing a good job of shutting down Grandview from keeping the uh, payload here moving forward. Very contested right now. And the St. Clair Saints, they're looking like they are a little bit more in gear here now than what they uh, were looking at the start of this round. They have burned a little bit of time. Uh, and But that payload, I feel like it has gotten a decent bit move already. They're, now you do see the Saints pushing it back. He's trying to move it as far away from that checkpoint as possible. Oh, the double alt here. 
confusing St. Clair from the front and from the back. They did ult it either way, and it kind of went in the favor of Grandview right now. St. Clair is forced to regroup here. Yeah, and that's Grandview just really taking out every player from the Saints. Nine, just trying to heal. It's I think those were the last two players alive, so he was just trying to keep his, uh, you know, his uh, teammate alive there, keep them, you know, at least two out of six alive. And but just like that, with that team wipe coming through, Grandview actually will get this payload just so close to a checkpoint. They might actually have it here, but no, the Saints will respawn in time and put up their fight. But the thing is here is that Grandview still has so much time and this payload is already over halfway there and they haven't used half of their time yet. So they still have a lot of time to work with here to get this payload through, which I feel like has got to be a concern for the Saints. For sure. And let's see if he can land the pulse bomb and he does. That's huge for St. Clair. They're up three players right now. St. Clair is very good at staggering the other team. Uh, as you can see, the... They usually don't kill that baby diva too much out of mech because it takes a while for her to get her mech back and she's pretty much useless to her team until then. But St. Clair is very good at staggering, uh, which means killing them one by one with a little bit of interval in between. So it, they're kind of coming back as a 5v6 or a 4v6. They can't regroup. They have to wait a long time for that. The more Overwatch is a game of time. The more time you burn, the more likely it is for you to win. Yeah, I completely agree with that statement, you know, not being crazy experienced in the game, but just watching it, the one thing I have noticed is definitely what you just said there. You know, burning time is when is helps win games, to be completely honest. So, it is going to be the side of St. Clair. Now, actually burning time at that, they burned a minute without this payload moving, to be completely honest, which is absolutely ideal. Um, if they can keep them off that final checkpoint, like, if they get one more round, I think the St. Clair will be alright with that. But, um, yeah, like you were saying, oh my god, that's three down. If they can even just stop it before even this checkpoint, that'd be huge. For sure, and they take out the Baptiste. They're I think... slowly picking off everyone as they go. Yeah, and I think we just saw Bailbolt and that one a five streak pop up. And, uh, you know, that's actually huge for Bailbolt. Uh, uh, he's been coming, uh, he's been one of the players that I've definitely noticed has been absolutely lighting it up here for the Saints throughout these last couple games. Even just our last one that we played uh, just a couple days ago. So good stuff from them overall here. More time has been burned down. Last time I talked about it, you know, about three and a half minutes through. Now they're down to that, you know, minute 35 second marker. And uh, it's looking really good. They have a good defense defense hold and that's the thing I've really noticed with the Saints once they get set up they do a very very good job of keeping that setup it's just you gotta have that setup and the thing is they kind of it's it looks very tough for them to get into their setup sometimes when they don't have it already yes it's very difficult to kind of find their footing right now as as uh, some might say right now GVU does have the high ground but oh. Cheesy uses Echo Alt to replicate the diva and gets a ton of kills here yeah, it actually really scales to find two, but definitely with the help of Cheesy and Bailwolf able to find one as well. Opie are going to take down Nair Junk, but so far numbers are so far in St. Clair's favor. And there is only 55 seconds remaining on the clock here for the side of Grandview. So this is phenomenal. If you are from the side of St. Clair, they're just continuing to do this damage. Opie will find one on a Cheesy, though. So there's a big frag to get the, you know, the first line of defense out of the way. And now they can push closer and closer up to this payload as the rest of St. Clair is a little bit farther back playing these back point positions. But so many alts are in favor of St. Clair right now. And I think that is a huge concern considering there's only 30 seconds left on the clock. And St. Clair can just use these alts like crazy here to really shut down the side of Grandview from getting a second point on this round. For sure, they need to stay out of LOS of that soldier, the line of sight. Uh, so they don't get picked off too early in the fight here. They just need to play it safe, play time. Uh, they can afford to give up a little bit of card space and yeah, uh, lot, see though. what happens. Not a lot, no, because then they could cap the point, which gives them more time. Yeah, yeah, and that's the last thing you want because you do like with this amount of time they have left, you do not want to allow this team to get any more time. And I don't know if they will. We are going to head into an overtime quick. So now it is all just about fragging out that enemy team. They're going to put all their pressure on here now. AR Junk opens this up nicely. We might see an alt come to life. And that is actually going to be Lion, though, able to answer back to you know, 9. And 9 going down is a massive frag for Grandview. For sure. It's kind of back and forth right now, but St. Clair does appear to have the upper hand. And it appears that they do have the upper hand. Oh, it got contested one more time. Overtime ticking down. And that's it. Your St. Clair Saints 
in my opinion, do a phenomenal job there on that first one. They only capture the point. They got no payload ticks, which is massive. Because personally, I don't think St. Clair will have too tough of a time capping that point. Um, but I agree that it's going to be that position where they have to get it over at 109.31 meters, which is really where St. Clair might struggle a little bit. But we're going to see. You know, we're fighting it out at 20 seconds until the attack side comes. In the bottom left of your screen, you can see the players there. They're ready to go. They're locked in. And, it, you know, I know we touched on this a lot this week already, but since it's still new, these players are probably super happy to be in the nest playing beside each other. For sure. And I'm excited to be here in person casting next to you as well. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, so. so here we go. It is going to be this, you know, game two starting. Well, game two, round two starting, sorry. And uh, it is now St. Clair on the attack. They're looking to get that first point as early as possible to provide them as much time as they can to actually, you know, make their way through and, you know, get... They just need to, they need more time to move that payload. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So it looks like they're going to stay with a very similar composition to what they had before here. Uh, available on that tracer again. What's interesting is that he actually picked up that tracer over the summer. He had never really played tracer until the summer season, or summer off season. And his tracer is looking great, as well as some of the other players picked up some brand new heroes for them too. Uh, so I'm really excited to see... Um, these new matchups that they could do and this new roster, what they're capable of. Yeah, completely agree on that one. So now this round officially getting underway. St. Clair Saints, they have four minutes to work with here to uh, at least get this first point and then they'll get more additional time every single point they get. But uh, yeah, this first point being the first task of focus. Uh, you know, whoever gets these first couple kills are definitely going to be at a massive upper hand here. So the opening frag is so important here in Overwatch and it's going to be Bailable actually coming in with that Tracer as you were saying. Doing a pretty good job here early inflicting some damage and getting some, you know, just not even just damage, some intel as well for the rest of his team to call that out over in their Discord comms. For sure. And it looks like St. Clair is sitting up top, trying to hold that high ground, trying to find that early pick. That's a big discord, but it doesn't manage to land any kills for them. Hostile just firing the damage into that room, but Sigma does try to eat it to try to save his team. Yeah, so the point is getting captured. They actually do manage to get a tick. Ooh. So at least they're already a point of the way there. Um, and now they can just continue to, you know, keep their focus on, less time than having to need on the point. But Grandview, is fragging out. It's gonna force some of St. Clair to back off and wait for their team to respawn and make this team push here once again. So the spawns are coming through. You're gonna see Scales use his D.Va to get a little bit quicker out of here and uh, try to open this one out for his team. He is gonna be that tank, so he will be one of the first ones to go through here and uh, try to make a play on it. But yeah, this A point, I mean, it's gotta be a <laughs> pushed out somehow. Uh, you know, they've used a minute and a half so far. You don't want to uh, keep wasting too, too much time. You wanna have as much time as possible for the payload. So they got it. They, they really just got to come through and get this one right here, right now. That'd be huge for St. Clair. For sure. That's a huge Lucio speed into the enemy. And they take out Lion on the enemy team on the Baptiste. So they're low on heals now. Apostle returning to kind of help his team take out the stragglers here. But Opia does land a kill available in the process. However, St. Clair did find their footing and it appears they capped the point and they have the payload. Yeah, so four and a half minutes to work with here. Now, if you are the Saints to move this one, I think it was roughly 110 meters is what we were kind of at. So we're going to see what they can do. Uh, is that one tick on that little bar there? Is that where they got the payload proved to before? Yes. Yeah, so yes. St. Clair, that's all they have to do. That one tick there on that little uh, bar at the top of your screen, guys. If they get it to that tick, I believe that is the game to win. For so sure. yeah, that is going to tie things up in a 1-1 series if they can get it there. And they have four minutes to do so. So we're going to find out in the next four minutes if this is going to be the end of the series or if this is going to be going to a game three. They have plenty of time here. They just need to play it slow and kind of wait for that opportunity. And it strikes them. Nine takes out Darkrai. Big frag. So, yeah. Oh, Eli oh. pops off with that Dragon Blade and takes out two members of St. Clair, three oh. members of St. Clair with that. I do believe that was a Nano Blade too, so it took a ton of damage. And G Scales got a little bit of revenge, took out Genji on his way in. Yeah, that Genji can be so dangerous though. Uh, and it really just caused a lot of damage there to St. Clair, really forcing them to, you know, play back, regroup once again, and go on for the team push. And that's what makes Overwatch such an interesting game. The amount of team aspect that has to come through with it. A, it has six players, more players than you see in 
pro I think any other major esport title, mm -hmm. and then you have to like you know it's all that's even just more comms right then and there uh, to have to worry about more players to have to worry about etc etc. So now here moving forward and then plus that you want to do every single push as a team push makes things so much harder as is even then. So Saint Clair they're doing a good job of using that team chem here early in this one. Ooh. They're over halfway there, but that's Apostle and nine going huge nine finds another and scales is looking to clean up some more as well. There's now three players in the payload. It is moving fast. If you're Grandview, you got to be a little concerned, especially when Scales, the D.Va, is pushing into your spawn. Scales is looking a little hungry for that Genji. He wants to get that extra kill, but overextending would not be smart for St. Clair. If they play this slow and they just kind of sit on the cart here, they should be able to push it to the very end in a matter of a minute or so. Apostle going in, swinging, takes out Opia. Sorry, that was G Scale's Diva Bomb that actually oh, did wow. that. Available, does manage to hit Eli. Oh, oh my goodness, that was a huge pin. Wow, and, and that might be it. That might be it. That's and it, that's, that's a it. team kill. The St. Clair Saints are going to go through, and they are going to win that game too. 1-1, one, one, we're heading to game three, Commander. I am so excited. How are you feeling about this one? I have never seen a pin like that. That was like a three-person pin. Yeah. That's insane. That takes some crazy Reinhardt techniques. Nine getting the play of the game here. Yeah, and you can tell just even watching this play of the game and then the pin you're talking about, the mechanics from the side of St. Clair right now in this matchup, like you said, takes crazy Reinhardt skills. Their mechanics are looking on point there, especially in that last round we just saw. So I'm very interested to see how this game three is going to go. What are your opinions on it here? And like, what do you think St. Clair is going to actually have to do in this one here going forward? I think St. Clair is going to need to have that coordination on the payload. They need to not overextend because I know sometimes when you're winning, you get kill hungry. Yeah, I've done it. Sure. We've all done it. Mm -hmm. You know, just, you know, be humble, stay on that payload, play it slow and you got it right. Um, that's what I think that's I think that's what the plan is. Um, Obviously, their main tank, Apostle, will have an idea of how they're going to play this out. So we'll have to just wait and see. Uh, as you can see, a lot of times teams will follow the Reinhardt uh, or the main tank, who he often plays a lot of Reinhardt. Uh, they'll often follow them and play the game off of them. So if you ever want to see where they're moving first, check their main tank, uh, whoever is kind of leading the way. So we'll have to see how uh, GVU handles that as well. Yeah, going to be exciting to see how GVU handles it and how St. Clair handles it, things overall. Um, I mean, anything could happen here uh, in this game three, and that's the thing that makes, uh, you know, match point games exciting, right? Because it's all coming down to the line on this. Just think about this. You know, you're sitting at home queuing on your couch on an Overwatch game or whatnot. Meanwhile, you have these guys here, everything on the table. I know it's only a preseason game, but... Still, I mean, you want to make yourself look like a threat to the league, right? You want to make yourself confident. You want to make yourself have all this motivation to keep on coming through here and playing and whatnot. So big games here overall between the sides of St. Clair and GVU. Um, any predictions? I feel like St. Clair has proven that their payload skills is are very strong. Yeah. Uh, their point capture can be a little iffy, but since this is a payload map, it looks like they might have the strength here especially since they were able to really bunker down on that payload to be able to find their footing fast and hold it. You know, th that impenetrable defense that they can they can really coordinate and get that together and hold it. So if they could do the same thing on this next map, Havana, on the payload, then they could secure this win very easily. Yeah, yeah, I, this could go either way, really, right? But, like, I completely agree that St. Clair looks a little bit more strong on the payload movement type of stuff there. But I completely agree. Their point capture, I think GVU looks a little bit stronger there on those point captures. And um, so that's what's going to make things real interesting, right? I think big thing for St. Clair is trying to get that point out early just so you have to deal with the payload. Um, sure. Getting that point out of the way early would be absolutely massive for the Saints. And if they can manage to get that point within their first initial push, I do think that this one is all Saints. And I think it's really going to come down to that first initial push from the Saints to try to break through onto that point. Yes, and in this map here, we don't actually have a capture point to go off of, but the payload starts right in the beginning of the spawn, mm. and it's wide open, so it's very difficult to get onto that payload, find your footing, especially when some teams like to hold up very close to prevent you from even leaving your spawn. So. Yeah, for sure. So the side of St. Clair now going to be looking to prepare themselves going in. They're going to be on the defense side starting us off here. So it's going to be them trying to stop this out of GVU on their payload movement. And we know that St. Clair can move this payload pretty far themselves on the offense. 
but it's really going to come down to their defense on how far they can hold them back. That's the thing, because St. Clair's offense is not really what I'm concerned about as much. I think they're going to be doing just fine over there on that second half of the game, but this first half of the game, I think has a lot of impact to it. For sure, and their defense here, if they have any holes, the DPS will pick them apart. We've seen Eli just absolutely pop off with his Genji ult, uh, even playing Farah, all of those. So if they can't really get together, then that could happen. But just as I say that, Eli takes out nine, a huge pick. Apostle takes out Guardian, but Darkrai does take out Bailable. It appears Grandview is in the lead here. Took down most of the St. Clair players, and G-Scales is kind of trapped in behind. He's gonna want to get out or die fast so he can regroup with his team. I'm gonna be completely honest, I had no clue that these players were gonna mash right into each other within the first two seconds of this round. I'm sitting here, I'm like, okay, the gates lift up. Mayhem right away. Welcome and, to Overwatch. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> yeah, welcome to casting Overwatch. <laughs> we're gonna sit here and just watch Mayhem instantly. It will go in the way of Grandview, so they do actually get this payload moved off a little bit here on the start. Could be a slight concern for St. Clair, but if St. Clair can just regroup nicely, I don't think they should be having too much of a concern. For sure. If they can really group up, find their footing in the beginning here, they can hold this point. Uh, but this is a little bit of a harder point to hold since Ooh. it is so wide open. And as I say that, Cheesy does take out Darkrai. Doomfist is going to try to take out... Oh, it takes out Arjun. And G-Scales... Oh, St. Clair, sorry, takes out two members. Dmex Diva, three members now of GVU. Yeah, I mean, St. Clair just did so much damage to GVU there. This should really help them push back this payload here a little bit. It has been stopped movement-wise, so now it's all about just trying to get this payload pushed back um, a little bit more just so, you know, they... Uh, you know, just for your, it's obvious reasons. So here we go. They, that payload will start to, uh, you know, be in favor of the side of St. Clair here. Now it's going to be Grandview having to make up a little bit of differential, but uh, Grandview now waiting for this full team respawn, and they're going to go for a full team push here once again. And uh, I'm just waiting for this one. Cheesy continuously firing off arrows. Literally always having one pull back and firing away because it has been doing so much damage to the side of Grandview. Grandview now on the push though. They will dedicate two to three players to that payload. Oh, but my Eli goodness. and Opia open this one up for Grandview so much. This payload should reach the first checkpoint. That Doomfist alt took out so many. And just as I say that, Cheesy pops off the oh. dragons, but it's not enough. Opia takes him out. St. Clair is forced to regroup with one less ultimate that they could have saved. Yeah, using that ult, I don't know about that play. It's it's kind of like, okay, if this works, it could save us big time, but if it doesn't, there goes an ult. Exactly. And uh, it, it's a big gamble there to come through. He pops it, doesn't work out, and it's just a tough bounce. Uh, Especially when you don't have your team to help you follow up on that. Yeah, that, that's what makes it a call that's literally a little, a little bit of a, uh, you know, maybe not so ideal of a play there, but... And then the end of the day, it's already happened. Time to just regain and uh, follow through. Keep your head up and uh, keep fighting. You know, they really haven't gotten this payload crazy far, but hitting that first checkpoint has added on a lot of time to the clock for them. So now moving into the check second checkpoint should come a little bit easier here now. But this is looking like a hard building to push the payload through. It's a really condensed area where they're going to need to get uh, a lot of footing through that. But it's going to be tough to clear out St. Clair when St. Clair can set them up on positions like on top of these boilers. Huge Sigma Flux, but it wasn't enough by the by the side of Grandview taking out Opi Opia taking out Cheesy. And Sinclair trying to get a little bit of revenge, trying to pick off one of their players, make it even. They're about even right now, but no one's quite in the lead. They need to just be able to secure that lead a little bit and hold this point. Yeah, as you're saying, yeah, no one's really quite like really excelling, but now with Grandview finding these picks. I think this might be huge. For, like, this is... It is huge for Grandview. They have four players on the payload here. Now, St. Clair having to wait to spawn up again and regroup and fight for this one. And uh, this is just all Grandview. I think they shouldn't really have too big of a problem getting it to the second tick with that clear. They have so much time to work with with so little distance to have to move this thing to get it to that point. And uh, that's a big concern if you are from the South St. Clair because hitting that checkpoint just means more time and they already have plenty of it at this point in time. So you do not want them to have, you know, five, six oh, minutes. Force out the transcendence for Arjunk. It's the only way he could keep himself alive, but now it can't be used for any aggressive ultimates like that one. Ooh. Whoa, Apostle and Nine take out two members though of, of GVU. Opia does get a little bit of revenge on Bailable though. Widowmaker play here has been phenomenal with the, the crazy headshots and whatnot as well on both sides. Yeah, so just 
literally inches from that second checkpoint. If the St. Clair can actually hold them off this, I'm going to be shocked. Yeah. Because there's so, like, it's got to be so devastating sometimes when you're, like, second, like, literally millimeters off a checkpoint and you just can't push it through. Uh, but as of now, I mean, if, and them getting two kills there again, Nine's been going crazy here lately, really stopping and slowing down this push. They're moving this one back a little bit to make it even harder on the side of Grandview. Time's ticking down. If St. Clair can stop them from getting the second point, I, I think St. Clair come come through and win this one. If they don't get the second point, I say St. Clair wins. But those dragons will do oh. massive. Cheesy going to get stuck in those. Dark Eye will take down Bailable. And now it is all in favor of Grandview. They have that player number advantage. Apostle answering back is absolutely massive. He will do some healing to his teammate. And Nine going for a frag. Maybe finding it does so much damage, but it's not enough. That player will make it out with their life. Lion actually going to answer back with some frags. Opia finds one there. And now this should be enough for Grandview to push it through. And Unless the side of Apostle can save the day, but that will not be the case. Grandview should have the second second checkpoint. If St. Clair can touch, and they do touch, Bailable oh. hopping in with two kills, two headshots on the Widow and the Baptiste. That was crazy. The level of skill it takes to do those jumping headshots is insane. Yeah, I mean, I was not anticipating for them to actually come through and be able to get that retake. I thought Grandview had this all in their favor, but huge plays to stop that one there. And this is Grandview's last push. This is their last attempt to get it. I think one thing that could be a concern for St. Clair right now is this overtime. If it comes to this overtime marker, I think Grandview is going to have an upper hand because of that, how close it is in overtime, where they only just have to win like one little battle in overtime, and then oh, they win it. Oh, Dark Ride taking out both healers on side of St. Clair. This is very very, very dangerous for them. With no heals, they cannot sustain their position. But Cheesy does manage to take out oh. one. However, it's just a wipe. Grandview wipes St. Clair to the floor, and they will be taking this point. Not a lot of time, though. So I don't think they're going to get that third one just because of how little time they have. I mean, of course, it's very, very possible. I should really stop making calls like this. <laughs> but it is going to be, you know, just one more point there. All five on it right away, though. That is a slight concern. St. Clair waiting to regroup and play for that push. But yeah, with just 70 seconds remaining, can Grandview pull off and get this third point? That is a huge question at hand right now. Available looking for that nasty headshot to go into his uh, montage. Can he find it? He does not. He misses. So close. St. Clair just kind of waiting for Grandview to get up to that bridge to be able to hold. It's very difficult to hold in the middle, but Dark Ride takes out nine. Huge pick. St. Clair is very low oh. on healing right now. He's looking for some pretty cheeky shots right now. If he finds one of these, it could be game-changing for the Saints. Uh, only 40 seconds remaining, and you do see Grandview Whoa. slightly over halfway. Cheesy gets a massive kill on a Dark Rye. And now it's going to put this one, which is 30 seconds remaining. Grandview, I mean, they have two ticks already. A third would be huge. But Cheesy huge. has been going to work with this crossbow in hand. He's been doing so much damage, not even just through this, you know, last round, but through this whole thing as of already. And uh, it's going to be Scales now just playing right up on that payload as well as I think that's Apostle there with oh. them. And G2 Scales will take down Lion. Big frags for the side of St. Clair. 10 seconds remaining. I think it's all going to come down to the overtime here now for Grandview. There's almost no way they can come back with this huge stagger with the Baptiste. But Dark Ride takes out Bailable. Oh my goodness. Dark Ride popping off. Both DPS on the side of St. Clair are down. G Scales trying to use that Flux to lift them off. But it's not enough. Grandview also oh. using a flux, lifts everybody off and manages to kill Apostle in the process. Oh my oh goodness, no. they're actually making a comeback. Just as I said it, I'm jinxing them. Yeah, they are they might be able to post one off in the overtime. St. Clair, they have to come through and run it up here now. They, you know, they, the overtime is all they have, and uh, they only need so little points to go. There's three, four players on it. I don't know if St. Clair is going to be able to stop it. Everything from the side of Grandview is coming out right here, and it's going to need some major frags. Lion finding Apostle is not the one you want to see. Eli taking down nine as well. Not looking too great for the Saints here, and I think that this is going to be in favor of Grandview. Maybe not, though. Maybe some last oh, minute no, plays, but no. Grandview oh. going to find it. They get the max amount of points they can get, but zero seconds remaining. That's a big thing right now. So uh, at the end of the day, I mean, the Saints, they have a really good chance to come through, but they need to force this all the way through, and they need to have some sort of time remaining if they want to end it out right here, right now. I feel like we did jinx them a few times there with our calls. I, I feel a little bad, but I hey, man, mean... I gotta stop. It's uh, the caster's curse. Yeah, I think you're psychic. <laughs> yeah, think you're psychic. But... um. Yeah, that was that was crazy. Right at the end, it looked like they were so staggered that there was no way they could even make a comeback. But uh, it was crazy 
the the comeback that happened everybody jumping on the point uh getting there at the very end and being able to pick off the last few members of st Clair to make that final push although they, they have zero seconds left on the clock it's still more than enough for them to be able to hold the first point if st Clair can push this all the way um to hold the first point uh, in the next round, and if St. Clair can push it all the way, then Grandview has three points. They would automatically win the series. Whoever wins, this is this is the game to determine who wins the series. Yeah, I, th not even this game, just this the half of the game, right? Yeah. So literally just this singular round to who wins the series. And this is when all the pressure is on. You know, me being coming from like FPS titles and stuff, my equivalent to this is like being in like a game five search and destroy round 11 for any of you COD players out there. Um, it's a very similar situation. The tensions are high. If this was like a regular season game, like I'd be having a heart attack oh, right now for oh the guys. Goodness, yes. But uh, it's a preseason game. There's still a lot of weight to it though. And it is going to be the side of Grandview. Now on the defense position, St. Clair on the offense, they are going to be looking to push this payload as much as they can right out of the gate. And good initial push is always what you like to see when you're on the offensive side of payload. Oh, Darkrai takes out Cheesy right off the bat. Huge headshot. It takes out Arjunk too. He's just on a roll. Oh. G-Skills gets hooked, but he tries to escape, but it's too little, too late. Darkrai is taking everybody off of the side of St. Clair, pushing them back into spawn. Darkrai's been fragging out here, uh, providing a lot of, not even just a lot of kills, a lot of clutch kills yes. that have really been opening it up and uh, really getting Grandview their points. Like, if they didn't have some of those clutch kills from Darkrai last round there, I don't think they would have got a third tick on that one. Sure. And, um, you know, I don't know if they would have made it out of that overtime, but with Darkrai coming through, making those plays, they will do just that. Uh, St. Clair going to get about halfway to that first point here now. I think they just got to try to get into that point as fast as they can to provide them as much time as they can because Whoa. if you're St. Clair right now, you just want time left over at the end of the day. Grandview is up. St. Clair, St. Clair is going to have to regroup here. Nine and G-Scales cannot sustain this. They need to get out or die quick. It appears they're choosing the die quick option. <laughs> yeah, so Nine and Scale is going crazy. Nine actually might be able to find another one. Just hoping he doesn't get hooked. I think he does make it out with his life. All good and well. Uh, some players going in there to play off of it now. Uh, he's going to pro provide some more damage onto that player. And now it is going to be still, uh, you know, just not very far for the payload for St. Clair, which is my concern. Yes, they have time to work with, but you want some extra time to bank for the second, the third point, so on, so forth. Um, I'm just slightly concerned on how slow we are seeing this payload moving here so far in this opening round. Sure, Cheesy trying to get a little bit of revenge here on Darkrai, looking for him, hunting him down. But there is a Hog Ultimate coming out, trying to push everybody. Oh my goodness, Darkrai takes out Arjunk. Available takes out Guardian. That's yeah, some big kills. Big snipers. Darkrai takes out Cheesy as well. So here we are. Now it is going to be just so close to this first point. You want to get there as soon as possible. And it's going to be the set available trying to open it up to do so. Trying to find some of these very... These bullets oh, like, have a lot of like damage to them, right? Yes. If you can connect on one really good headshot there or something... You do a lot of damage if you are from this available here. So you're just really looking to find some really nice connections onto these players. And it could really cause a huge impact into things here for the side of St. Clair. Um, not at that first point yet. They burn another minute of the time. Grandview, as we were saying just last game, uh, burning time wins you games. And Grandview is oh doing just that right now. Huge Maywall to block out that Sigma from escaping, as well as the BAP window. Now we have Bob coming out. Lots of vaults from the side of St. Clair. Nine takes out Sigma on the enemy team. But Bailable trying to stay alive. Apostle gets oh. two kills by taking both of the healers out. And G-Scales got some revenge on Darkrai. Yeah, there's a lot of big frags coming through here. And they will get that first point. They're going to get about two minutes, I think it is. Or is it a minute and a half? Something like that added to the clock and it will be the side of St. Clair now looking to advance to the second point. They are going to be going through this little garage area here now that we did see Grandview come through last time. This one could be a little bit of a concern. I know there's a lot of close quarter combat and stuff that favors the defensive side a little bit more than that first checkpoint, which could cause for concern, as I was saying. But the St. Clair Saints are moving it forward fairly well here fairly early, getting at least past that little gate to uh, where Grandview now can't pinch them anymore. Looks like Sinclair did make a few little swaps here to try to, to better match their opponents, but they are pushing their way through, making space for that cart. Lots of bullets hitting Apostle, though. Yeah. He's spinning around trying to block it all, but it's just too much, and he goes down. Yeah, he was just getting punished there, sitting there trying to block anything out he can, but 
like you were saying, just so many bullets coming through. Not a whole lot he could do. And that will be nine going down as well. So now in a position where, you know, you're at a little bit of a player disadvantage, but you do have this payload a decently far pushed up already. So that is one benefit you have going for you. And you still have enough time for at least two good team pushes to come out as well. So I don't think they're too concerned right now. Big wall there coming through, but instantly shot down. Do you see that uh, Hograt going for a hook there? But they will be able to take that one down. Gonna be Guardian as that player there. Now five on the point. Gonna, I think the Sinkler should be getting it here this push, oh especially goodness. with Apostle finding that kill and getting himself on a five streak. Uh, and that's gonna be Bailable finding one as well. The Diva getting shot down. And it's gonna be a Diva versus Diva fight. Can Scales win it? It doesn't look to be that quite yet, but maybe here oh. now, that D.Va just going out to play for its life. Both tanks are anti right now. They can't aggress into this without losing their lives, most likely. It's tank v. tank in the hallway here. They're just chasing each other around. Holy big shatter. They take out oh. Roadhog here, taking out more, more players, or at least trying to. Uh, Bailable did get the hit on Eli here, but the dragons are coming through. St. Clair has to dodge, but Cheesy, too little, too late. Yeah, you know those dragons, they really do come out of nowhere sometimes. So St. Clair now on the last push. So all it takes is for them to have one second remaining on the clock when they push this through, and that's game over. They win the series, if I say correct. Yep. And so they having five players on this and moving it this fast, this far already is such a huge benefit to them. But I think that Grandview is doing a similar strat that St. Clair did. They're letting them get it kind of to that gate door. They're all sitting out inside that little palace position, waiting for St. Clair to get it to that gate, and then trying to pinch them off of that choke point. You will see the D.Va going back into that suit, playing as that tank position. That's four down for the Saints, and these are massive opening picks. This should allow them to at least get this up another, like, just inches away. For sure. They're just wasting time. They have two minutes to move it about 70 meters. Yeah, uh, and... Or, sorry, less than that. <laughs> yeah, they have very little distance to have to move this. It's literally 10 meters at this point in time. And um, St. Clair still pushing it forward. Slowly but surely. I mean, even then, they're getting one player on it every couple seconds. They're doing a great job. Nine just coming through here with the heals. And this might be it. They only need so little meters. Five meters to close this one out. And they have a minute and a half They of every player's lives. G Scales going through, playing that tank position. Those... Oh, that dragon could find something. But all those players staying alive through the dragons is massive. Eli will take down Apostle, though. But Cheesy going to take down Opia there. And the push is coming through. They're trying to send some players on it. It is now officially contested a minute 15 remains on the clock they're trying to find these frags but dark ride gonna find bailable nine and gonna find one scales gonna do a good amount of damage as well now only 3.76 away it is gonna be contested currently at the moment but the frags are through from grandview a minute remains st Clair neck and neck with grandview right here right now Grandview used a lot of ultimates there, but St. Clair used a slightly less, I do believe. I don't think there's too many ultimates to go around. Maybe Cheesy's Blizzard might be enough just to pull this through. He can freeze the whole team and St. Clair can collapse all them. So they might be able to push it that last few meters. Uh, Cheesy looks like he's grouping up with his team. They're going to teleport in and freeze them all. Oh, no. Oh. oh, no. Two of them players fell off of the map. The play call didn't work out. Only 30 seconds remaining. That was a risky, risky play call. And it not working out is really going to favor Grandview here now. And that might lose them the game, to be completely honest. I'm going to be real. I was totally shocked. I didn't know what to say at that very moment. I was not expecting that. They need to regroup fast and move in. They have 10 seconds on the clock. Cheesy trying to find a quick kill here. Can he throw his blizzard just in time? Freeze everybody. He needs to find the perfect spot, the perfect geometry. Bap! Throws oh. his window out. Cheesy, stuck in his ice block to no. save his life. He needs to pop this blizzard to save the team, but he just hasn't found the opportunity yet. St. Clair getting taken down. He throws out his blizzard as a last ditch effort, trying to take out that soldier, but he gets taken out instead. Looks like Grandview is going to hold this point and win the series. And wow, what a matchup. I mean, I thought you guys had a game there a couple of days ago, a really close one. This one also very close. Uh, you can tell you have the camera on, the player's looking a little down in there. For obvious reasons, you know, uh, they had two minutes to really push it, just 20 meters or this. so. 
and it just wasn't able to happen. Opia Huge goes boot. massive here, and um, that that's the game. This is literally what won them the game right here, right now, and it will result in the side of GVU coming in top two to one over your St. Clair Saints here. St. Clair having a tough time here starting off, um, you know, not even just tonight, but a couple days ago as well. But I think that they're so close. That's what makes it so painful right now, right? Oh, for sure. Because they're so close to getting these wins and whatnot, but they're just not coming through. Um, what are some adjustments you think they have to make here to maybe uh, find this next one here against Boise State? They need to really be careful with some of these risky plays. Yes, it could pay off big time, but it might be better to play smarter than harder. You know, like maybe just teleport into the main field where they can't get pushed off the map. You know, if Cheesy could have had that opportunity to throw Blizzard up on the high ground, maybe they could try something like that. But they just, it was too risky. It ended up, you know, quick thinking by, uh, by Opia kind of was their undoing. Yeah, for sure. So, <sighs> Congrats to GVU for coming on top and winning that one nonetheless, right? Like, we're not biased over here or anything. We were, like, I was just excited to see a good game, oh, you know? Oh, for sure. Danner's just sitting here talking smack to me before games, saying I can't hype it up more than him. I was trying my best there. And <laughs> he's telling me I did a decent job there, so that's what we like to hear. But, um, yeah, yeah, the side of St. Clair, they will fall. GVU going to come on top. But nonetheless, we're here to cast some great games, and we did just that. I hope you guys and the viewers enjoy it as well. But... We got more action right around the corner. Yeah. Boise State, I mean, I'm checking my time, and it's scheduled to start 16 minutes ago. So we should be uh, hopping in that just a few minutes away. Now, we are going to throw this into a quick little break for us to change over some stuff and get ready for that next game against Boise State. But stay with us, because we have lots of Overwatch action heading your way here momentarily. My name's Jackson Deprive Brown, joined alongside Amanda, Commander, Dupuy. And we are going to be right back with you guys in just a second. Stay with us.